Hi everyone, it's Joy here with another Lawn Fawn video. Today I'm going to show you how you can create a sweet gift for the sewer in your life using the brand new Sew Very Mice stamp and coordinating die. I'm using an embroidery hoop. This is a four inch embroidery hoop and I traced it on some patterned paper and cut it out to fit the back of this so I can get an exact fit. Then I used the outside in stitched circle stackables and also the stitched scallop frames and the frame is going to go on the front of our cute little embroidery hoop and I also have this circle in the background that I'm going to need to die cut a little piece for the front so this will have a 3d look to it I am using the stitched hillside border and the stitched trails as well. So all of this has stitching on it, which of course is so perfect for this little gift. This was also inspired by Callie Person who created great Christmas tags using these embroidery hoops. I'm laying out what I thought was gonna be my background. I did change it up a little bit, but I'm just lining up to see where I need to place the stitched hillside border because I do wanna trim that solid circle piece. I tape that down, I can slide that frame out of the way and then put this in my die cut machine and die cut. Now I have my bottom piece that's gonna go behind my frame. Now it'll lay on just like this, so you have your back piece and your front piece, and both of those are matching cardstock pieces, and that is from the What's Sewing 6x6 paper pad. Now on that same little piece that we just cut, I wanna line up the stitched trails. This has the cute little heart on it, and I thought this would be an extra fun, just visual addition to all of the other stitching going on. It's so super cute. So I ran that through my die cut machine and then you guys can see here in just a second that cute little heart and that stitching trail. Now I want to adhere that back piece of cardstock and I just hand cut that with scissors which is why it looks a little bit wonky but it fits totally perfect. I added some liquid glue to the back and then adhered that down. And I want to set that aside to dry. I also want to adhere this little tiny half circle piece to our frame, our scalloped frame. So a little bit of liquid glue on that and then put that in place. Now while everything is drying, we can color this super cute mouse from the So Very Mice stamp set. I'm using Copic markers on Lawn Fawn's white cardstock. I used jet black ink to stamp it. It is Copic friendly. And I think what's so fun about this for me is I just recently started cross stitching again. So to have this little set, I just about died when I saw it. It is just so darling. So I'm coloring this with my W markers, one, three, five, and I did bring in seven for the nose. So he's a nice little grayish brown mouse. He is so super cute holding that big old embroidery hoop, a little bit of R30 for his ears and a little bit of W1 at the base of his ears just to kind of tone down that pink and then a little bit of pink on his cheeks. Then I have some brown colors for the hoop itself, which turned out perfect. I'm adding the darker color, a little bit of the lighter color with the E33. And then I wanna color the inside with the E000 and also E0000. And that gives it that nice little, just off white kind of color for your fabric that you're using for your stitching. Now I am using some small ink cubes. I'm going to stamp the little stitched heart. I'm using ballet slippers and it's so cute, just a small acrylic block to stamp that, and look at how cute that is. And then there is the needle and thread, and I'm using manatee and ballet slippers. So manatee for the needle, and then ballet slippers for the thread. I just thought keeping it in the same color family, the thread and the little stitched heart would be cute to have everything matched. Then I can use the coordinating die to die cut that out as well. Then I have the sentiment that says, you are so amazing, but I wanna trim the sentiment apart. I will be using the Kohl's ABCs die 
to spell the word so, S-E-W. So I'm going to trim down my sentiment and trim out the word so. So we're going to be keeping you are amazing. I stamped that with the same jet black ink as I did for the cute little mouse image. And then I'm die cutting two times from white cardstock and once from the What's Sewing 6x6 six six paper pad. So we'll have three layers. I will glue all of these together. This gives it some nice dimension. The color scheme on this little project is really soft and pretty. So the word sew is actually a light green with little stitching marks on it. The background obviously is the pink with the stitching marks and the frame has uh, yellow and uh, yellow flowers on the white background. So let me finish adhering that together. And now we can start laying this out. I'm adding dots to the scalloped frame, just a little bit of dots of glue, not doing too much placing that on the front and I love that this scalloped frame this is the largest one from the stitched or excuse me from the stitched scalloped frames this is the largest one and it I love that you can still see the embroidery hoop on the front on the outside I have foam tape behind both of my sentiments and I want to get everything nice and lined up so I want to lay everything out I want to make sure that that little front piece is not going to be hiding the word amazing. So I'm adhering down the you are and amazing just lightly. I did peel the release paper off of the foam tape. Then I can glue down the word so. And what was perfect on this cardstock is there's already straight lines on it. So it made it really easy to line everything up nice and straight. Using Reverse tweezers and a liquid glue is super helpful to get your fingers in here. I did decide to move down the word amazing and move the UR up just a little bit so it can have a better spacing in between. I'm also going to add foam tape behind this cute mouse with the embroidery hoop. He's going to go on the front next to that stitched heart. And then that little sewing needle I thought would be really cute on the background, just a little something extra. I'm actually using the glow in the dark hemp cord, obviously not because it's glow in the dark, but because the natural look of it was so perfect. So someone could hang this on their wall or whatever, whoever you decide to give this to, or if you're going to keep it for yourself because you are a sewer, but it is so cute. So I finished that off and let's take a look at this up close. I love that little mouse. I love that sentiment and all of that pattern paper is just absolutely gorgeous. Thank you guys so very much for stopping by and watching. I hope that you feel inspired by this project and I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Bye.